Hey, fish people, what's up? Hey, we back at it. Stan River State Park. We are on the right hand side of the boat launch at Stan River State Park. Um, we're running cut bait, we're running chicken. Right now, that's king on the dam for me. That's what's been bringing them all in. Um, I got one, two, three, four, five. I got six rods in the water. More than normal. But I'm, I'm fishing a big stretch. And I got some company tonight, y'all. Yeah, my little cousin's down here. The one true and blue that put me on to the Dan River last year that I did my first video. He said, go down to the Dan and fish. We did, and we've had nothing but success since then, and I owe it all to him. Come on over here, man. Show your face, little bro. What's up, catfish people? Steven. Uh, look, I call him Scrappy. Hey, look, y'all, we're going to get all these baited up. We're going to get them casted out. Hey, we hope we have a good night. If not, we're going to still have fun. All right, y'all, we got them baited up. Um, Tar Heel Rod of 10 foot. The pin worth. Um, we got four ounce on it with cut bait. We got Robbie's rod. It's got cut bait. They both got Carolina rigs. Four ounce. We're running four ounce on everything but one rod. We're running the three ounce on it. And we got a, we got a four hour hook on it. And we're going to cast it right on the bank. I want it to sit right on the bank line. Maybe we'll get a channel off of it. Um, then we're running a CNT rig here. We got chicken on. We got a um, we got another pin on a Garcia rod. Uh, we're running the Santee rig with the rattler, the whisker seeker rattler on it with cut bait. And then the next two rods, as I said, we're going to bank line those and uh, they got chicken on them. Let's get these casted out there and bring y'all fish. I'll see this. That is the bugs that are flying in the trees, y'all. I guess them old mayflies or whatever, not I don't know. They are just falling and hitting the water everywhere around us. And the fish are just killing them. I mean, the fish are popping the water right now, like pop, 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 pop. Let me give y'all a look at the rods. There you go. <clears throat> that one on the end there, that's that Dunham combo. Then we got the Quantum on the Berkeley Big Game. We got a pin here. I think it's a 6650SS. It's on a Abby Garcia. We got a Quantum. On a big cat fever. We got the pin on the big cat fever. And then we got the pin worth on the big 10 foot. Yeah, we got the bugs on us, y'all. Y'all see the bank line? Look at that. Here's a boat dock. We fly, we swatting bugs, y'all. Bring you back out here. Go around that bend there. That takes you down to Bugs Island. Big old crane flying. Got some houses over there. I think there's some kind of tournament going on down here tonight. I'm not sure. I have to check into that when I get home. I just want to give y'all good scenery. There's so much bank line. Hey, we tuned back in. Hopefully we got one bent over. And we just had some hit this, uh, hit this zip code with this Abby. It's Abby Garcia rod. I mean, he just hit it hard. That's the one that's got them uh, whisker seeker bells on it. Rattler, I mean. Hey, let's sit back and hope he can get them all back. It's on, y'all. Come on, honey. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Come on. Pretty decent size, too, ain't it, Mike? Yeah. Oh, he's pulling his fucking drag. Oh, that's a 
Nice. Come on, baby. That's a nice one, buddy. You ain't got no net neither, Mike. Oh, dude. Watch your wallet, son. You don't die. Understand what it means. I want to see you. Come on, man. Come on. Come on, man. 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 Get it out. Get it out. Get it out. Easy. 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 Ah, it's a nice old flat here, y'all. Let me get this light set up there. Mm. Ooh, wee. It's a nice old flat. Hold on, Mike. I'm going to take a picture of you, buddy. Mm. Hold him up. I got some hay. Can't be taking a picture for me, y'all. Oh, let me pause this, y'all, and get a picture. Y'all, we back. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. Well, it says 16.93. Oh, big old flathead, y'all. Hell yeah, start the night off. Cut. Frozen bluegill. Oh, we got rods popping. Cut, cut frozen bluegill, y'all. Bluegill here. Let's get him back in the water. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. There you go. Oh, yeah. That's what we're talking about. Oh. Nice catch, y'all. 16-pound flathead on the 10-foot. I'm going to tell you what. He gave that pin a workout, too. That's about the biggest one caught on that pin. Hey, let's get y'all some more. All right, y'all. We, uh, we got them all cat. We got them all baited back up, cast it back out. Running the same setup. Um, we're taking some pops on the chicken on the bank line. And the, uh, the one that's got the whisker seeker rattler on it, it's been taking some pops. Nothing else to the bank, though, but the one. But, hey, we're going to keep it up. <clears throat> well, y'all, bite's been kind of slow here about the last 45 minutes. As we pulled in the fat here, we've had a few more bites, pretty hard bites, too on the chicken and the cut bait and we had one hit a cut bait line pretty hard took it down started reeling it in line went limp on us hey we're gonna keep on at it oh we got one on y'all let me get the light set up what easy easy huh Drag. Catch your drag. Let it pop your line. Let your drag keep on. Yeah. Yeah, hold on. Let me take it back. You got one on, y'all. We got the drag. I'm going to leave the drag like that. You got one. I think he done got us hung up. We're going to see if we can't let him pull it back out. So hold it down. Let me pause this and see what we can get going on. We got one on, though. 
All right, y'all. We got one on. He's reeling it in. It snagged on something, but he's still on there. So I got the drag set on a little bit on the tight side. We got it stuck back down in there. I'm hoping he can pull whatever he's got it hung on. Hoping he can pull it back out that way. And as soon as he does, we'll start pulling him back in this way. All right, y'all. Well, he was hung up bad. He had a nice one on there, too. I'm telling you what. He had that big cat rod. I mean, it was built to the, it was bent to the hilt. It hit it, took it down to the water, and it was, he heard nothing but the drag on that, on that quantum. He gave it all he could give it. Somehow or another, it, I don't know, it's, it's some debris, you know, out there in the water. They just got him hung up. <clears throat> I set the drag loose to see if he pulled. I set the drag tight to see if he pulled. I couldn't get nothing. So I just started reeling. Lion pop. Man, I hate that too. We got one swimming around out there, nice one with a hook in his mouth. I'm gonna tell y'all what. We must have didn't get the we must have didn't get the fly on the uh, on the tournament. That boat's up and down this up and down this river. I mean I'm talking about zoom 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 zoom. It can't be no bass tournament. The rods is too big from some of the some of them I seen. I, I, I don't know for sure it's a tournament. He said he thought he he said he thought it was one going on. I ain't heard nothing of it, but it is a bunch of boats. I mean it is packed with boats. And they are sitting back up in these coves and they are just beating the water. But hey, it ain't discouraging nobody. We still getting bites. I even heard one of them pulling a boat in and they said the last tournament they had down here that a six a six pound catfish won the tournament. Six pounds on the damn river. Won a tournament. It ain't no way. I don't believe it. Hey, we just pulled in the one on the flathead. It ain't no telling what the size of the one is that he missed. Man, that was a nice one. We baited back up. We got fresh chicken on there. We got some fresh bluegills on there. We got everything casted straight out now. We staggering them at different depths. I started with the 10 foot. I casted it for the middle. It's out there. It's, it's, it's gone out of sight. And then all I done is I just kept stagging. Deep, shallow, deep, shallow, deep, shallow. And I've got my bait staggered too. I'm running cut bait, chicken, cut bait, chicken, cut bait, chicken, all the way down the line. <clears throat> hey, they still biting, so we still here. The only thing that's taking any bites right now is some chicken, though. The cup bait ain't doing nothing. It's just laying still. Uh, I've took the Santee rigs off. We're running all Carolina rigs now because nothing on none of the Santee rigs. No bites, no nothing. And I took the rattlers off. Nothing on the rattler. I'm going to have to do some more homework and research on that. The verdict is still out on it. Last time I was down here, got a few hits on it, but... Tonight, it's just been dead in the water. It may be a waste of money. I hate to say that because I really do like them guys' product. But I'm going to have to do a little more research and my homework, make sure that I'm using it correctly and properly. Then after I do that, we'll post something else and we'll tell you if I'm messing up or not. <laughs> we got some boats out here that are shining spotlights on the bank line. And I'm still undecided if they are catfishing or coon hunting. Because they are doing nothing but lighting the trees up. I'm just waiting, yeah. Just like Stephen just said, we waiting to hear dogs start barking here in a minute. <laughs> Coon dogs swimming up the river. A lot of these boats are pulling in now. I don't know. They giving up or they just done or We getting too many bites right now on this chicken. They well, we're not getting a lot of bites. We're just getting some hard bites. We're just getting some real hard bites on the chicken. So, hey, hopefully we tune back in. Well, y'all, something's going down the line hitting the rods. Oh, we changed things up. Now we only have two cut bait out on it. The two big pins. And, uh, one of them's getting hit on the cut bait. 
And then we got two just taking a hit on their chicken. And they're hitting them hard, but they just ain't taking them to the water. Uh, and it is confirmed there was a, a catfish tournament going on tonight. They were grading on all three species. But uh, from what I've gathered, all these guys coming in is saying all they got was a bunch of bites, no hits, no catches yet. Haven't heard of no boat come in saying a, a, of a catch. Just all talking about hits, and they were all early hits. Hey, the only way you're going to get them is keep your lines in the water. Well, we're still just getting some taps, and it's only chicken. And I'm going to tell you what, the water out here right now, at 5 o'clock in the morning, I guess these boys are getting done with this tournament. The water is like the interstate with boats. They are just zooming up and down, up and down, up and down. But hey, we gave it our all tonight. Got here, got us a big channel in, I mean a big flathead in. We hung two more that got tangled up on us. You know, if we want to count ifs, <laughs> that'd be three to the bank. But hey, the one bent the, bent the big cat rod to the water. I mean, it just, it popped it to the water. I don't know what it tangled up in. <clears throat> and still most of the boats coming in. I haven't heard of anybody catching anything. There's a lot of fish hitting the water too. Some just splashed out there just now. We just got everything lined back up. We're going to give it one more little run. Then we'll call it a night.